This episode is brought to you by Experts Exchange, the original technology community. If you're in IT, listen up. This might literally be the answer to all of your problems. You know, I'm not the only one who's been stuck on a problem at work or at home, and we've all been there. And we all do the same thing, right? Well, we either Google it, Bing it, or even DuckDuckGo it. And we end up finding a guy on a random forum who's posted an answer to our questions anywhere between 8 to 10 years ago. And we just have to trust that he's the right solution. If you trust the wrong person, you could be putting your organization and yourself at risk. What if there was a group of people you know you can trust? That's an expert exchange, or as we call it here, EE. EE is a community of thousands of of tech professionals who have been helping each other solve problems for over 25 years. Many of the members are highly accomplished with titles like Microsoft MVP, Oracle Ace, just to name a few. You don't have to be an expert to be on EE. All you have to do is be willing to help. No one can be an expert in everything. That's why you need to surround yourself with people you can trust. Right now, listeners to Tech Time Radio can join EE completely free for seven days. All you got to do is go to e-e.com to get started. That's right. All you got to do is go e-e.com and make sure you let them know Nathan Mum at Tech Time Radio sent you on over there. We would like to thank Podcorn for sponsoring this episode of Tech Time Radio. Explore sponsorship opportunities and start monetizing your podcast by signing up at podcorn.com forward slash podcasters. Let me tell you about Podcorn. Podcorn is an absolute must for any podcaster starting out. Now, when we started out Tech Time Radio, we started out in a back office with a couple of mics. We expanded to a studio, and then now, as you can see, we're on the radio and have distribution into other markets. Having the ability to have Podcorn at the start of our podcast would have been a dream come true. Guess what? With Podcorn, you now have the amazing opportunity for podcasts to receive sponsorship, such as host reads, interview segments, and topical discussions. With Podcorn, there's no middleman. Podcasters of all size can browse and choose opportunities right on their platform, set their own rates, and collaborate with brands directly without exclusivities. You never give up the rights of your podcast in Podcorn, and they're here to support you everywhere possible. Visit podcorn.com. Again, that's podcorn.com. Podcorn is a true success for those starting their podcast dreams. Broadcasting across the nation from the East Coast to the West, keeping you up to date on technology while enjoying a little whiskey on the side with leading edge topics along with special guests to navigate technology in a segmented, stylized radio program. The information that will make you go, hmm. Pull up a seat, raise a glass with our hosts as we spend the next hour talking about technology for the common person. Welcome to Tech Time Radio with Nathan Mum. Welcome to Tech Time with Nathan Mum, the show that makes you go, hmm, technology news of the week, the show for the common everyday person broadcasting across the nation with insightful segments on technology subjects weeks ahead of the mainstream media. We welcome over 35 million Radio audience to an hour of insightful technology with a little whiskey on the side. I'm Nathan Mum, and welcome to our show. We live stream during our show on four of the most popular platforms, including YouTube, Twitch TV, Twitter, and Facebook. And we have also added in LinkedIn. So LinkedIn is now testing us to see if they will continue to put us on their live stream shows. We encourage you to watch us or visit us on techtimeradio.com or even tweet during the show at hashtag Tech Time Radio, and we'll do our best to respond to all of the tweets that we get. I'm a technologist with over 30 years of expertise working for companies like Microsoft and Vulcan Inc., and a keynote speaker on technology subjects from security to blockchain and everything in between. My co-host here, Mike Gorday, is an award-winning author, originally from Arizona. He's a human behavior expert living in the Seattle area with a master's degree in forensic psychology. He has 20-plus years helping out others understanding human behavior so they can make better decisions. Mike keeps me from geeking out while providing an insight into human behavior and how it interacts with technology. We're two friends that come from a different background but bring the best technology show possible every week for our family, friends, and fans to enjoy. You sure? Welcome to our show today. Yeah, I, I, I hope so. I hope we're doing this for friends, family, and uh, fans. Otherwise, uh, it was just, just us. We could just sit in my uh, garage. That's what we started we, doing. That's how we did start, isn't it? We just Studio started sitting six. around, sitting around in your garage and making videotapes. We did. <laughs> we just like stop. Now we need to play. Press play again. Here you go. Stop. Press play. That was old school time. Yeah, that was. All right. Well, 
We were excited to be ready to go, but you know what? We got Odie behind the board. We got Gwen Way that is queued up, ready to go. We have an exciting show today, and let's begin by starting off our show. Now on today's show. All right. The Ukraine government is selling NFTs to fund the war against Russia. And a criminal hacking group, Anonymous, hacked into Russian TV and streaming services and decided to put Ukrainian war footage on as they overtook the television uh, and radio airway. So essentially, we're going to be talking about Anonymous. They have taken over everything that Russia is doing as far as media production wise, Mm -hmm. and they can interrupt all of it at any time. Uh, Next, we're going to be talking about Samsung getting breached. Do you have a Samsung phone there, Mike? Yeah, let's not talk about that. We're going to be talking about about it later when it's time to talk about (laughs) it. Yeah, you know what? I can't wait for you to talk about it since you have a Samsung phone. And you were talking a couple weeks back about how you were so happy with your Samsung phone versus Apple technology. I was was saying how much I hate my iPhone because it doesn't do things certain ways. And he kept on saying, oh, my Android Samsung is perfect. Well, we're going to hear how perfect they are. I did not say that. I've never said that. Okay. Don't put put words in my mouth. Okay. You you said you liked it, though. That's right. Okay. (laughs) We have Gwen. She's going to be on Gadgets and Gear. We're going to be talking about something, a new gadget that puts the personal touch into your virtual reality world. This is something that I actually spent a lot of research on. After I'm sure you did. Gwen sent it. When you found it. Uh, well, no, Gwen found it, and so we talked about it a little bit yeah, at the we, production yeah, meeting. Yeah, we talked a little bit. Yeah, it, it looks pretty interesting. I, 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 am, I am into this, so I can't wait on Gadgets and Gear. It's going to be pretty exciting to mm-hmm. talk about it. I think this is the new way of this, VR reality. Th- this is where... VR is trying to go. It is. And so this is is an aspect of that. Which is an interesting comment on humans. It is. And then we have, of course, our fan favorite letter segment. Uh, And we have this week in technology, Mike's mesmerizing moment, and our pick of the day, whiskey tasting. So let's sit back, raise a glass, and welcome to Tech Time with Nathan Mum. It's now time to start our show with our loaded question of the week, brought to you by Elderberry Boost. Get your Elderberry Boost today at elderberry-boost.com. Mike and Odie, here's your loaded question. What... Helps you feel better when you're upset or stressed. Didn't you already ask me that question? No, I didn't. I didn't ask you that question. Though, what helps you when you're upset or stressed? Well, you know, I could easily say things like liquor and stuff. But you know what? I I simply close up and go in my room and cut off all human contact. So you kind of vegetate, veg, you veg. Okay, Odie. Now, now to you. Do you know the Pixar movie Ratatouille? I do. I know that movie, like, word for word, like, the first 30 minutes. I'll just listen to that in the background. That's your stress relief? Is yeah. That, is the movie? Yeah. That's good stress relief. I mean, it's a beautiful soundtrack, beautiful imagery. Like, it's a rat cooking in a French kitchen. You that, can't get true. much happier than that. Because that makes all the sense in the world. Yeah, that, exactly. That, that totally makes no sense to me at all. <laughs> Pixar is the only hey, company that can. Wally is my favorite <laughs> Pixar. <laughs> picking up all the trash that Elon Musk right. puts out there. That Elon Musk is putting out there. That's right. All right. Okay. All right. You know what? For me, the the best way I uh, unwind with stress is to uh, <laughs> use profanities. <laughs> Probably. I, I just if I get really stressed oh. out, I'll just go in, into a tirade, swear a bunch, and then I normally feel much better. Yeah, that's with myself. really healthy. Well, I, I is it not, not healthy? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I don't do that kind of stuff, but you know, I, I've played some video games with you. Yeah, I know. I can get I can get a little <laughs> intense. <laughs> you can get a little intense. That's right. <laughs> I often hate those guys. All right, <laughs> all right. Here we go. Well, Mike, as always, we have our whiskey tasting during the commercial break, so we're gonna see if our whiskey gets a zero, one, or two thumbs up in our pick of the day. Make sure you listen all the way through the show to pick up some interesting facts about our whiskey. And it'll be something that will make you go, mm. Mm, yeah, Now, on to our first segment, bringing you the top technology stories everybody will be talking about for weeks to come within the first five minutes of our show. What's happening in the world of technology? This is our top stories in the first five minutes. All right. Story number one, Anonymous hacked Russian TV and streaming services and decided to put Ukraine war footage in its place, three Russian state channels, Russia's 24, Moscow 24, and Channel 1, and two Netflix-like Russian streaming services, Ivy and Wink, were targeted in the attack. The popular hacking collective Anonymous claims to have hacked streaming services in several state TV channels and decided to interrupt it instead of playing their current Russia information regarding the war. They put Ukrainian war-shown footage 
and then decided to come on up and have a cyber alert that actually told everybody what was going on in the war itself. On the evening of March 6, 2022, Anonymous took to Twitter to post footage of the alleged hacks of the Russian state TV. According to Anonymous, the three Russian state TV channels that were hacked all included information regarding the war. So let's talk about this. Essentially, you well, have a hacking it, group. It, it's alleged, right? Well, no, no, it actually did. They actually they put it up on Twitter and showed the actual uh, uh, hacking services. It has been confirmed that they did hack into their main television and streaming services and decided to do an anti-Putin, a pro-Ukrainian uh, message regarding the war mm-hmm. to everybody that was watching those channels. So we talked about a little bit about this last week. So are we happy this happens or is this something that should be scaring us? Because I know when I talk about this to some people, they're like, oh, that's great. You know what? That's great. The Russian people need to know what's going on. But then and there's a side of me that says, now all of a sudden we're allowing criminals to overtake television stations and broadcast information. This, this is there. a double-edged sword. Okay. Right. So uh, do... Is it helpful that the Russian citizens are seeing what their government is doing to Ukraine? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because when we are in these states, we have a tendency to insulate ourselves from that kind of thing. You know, it happened in, with the Vietnam conflict and yep. everything where everybody was. World was, War II, World everybody War I. Was I mean, Disney to, used to make yeah, videos everybody regarding was trying war. To, trying to insulate themselves from the, the act, what happens in war. And then when all these pictures started coming in from the the. Vietnam. Yep. Everybody going started going, what the heck is going on here? So yeah, I think this is a good idea. I think this is good that this is happening. <laughs> is it a good thing that we've got this un- this independent group that's hacking Activists, this? Yep. And yeah, I don't know. I, it's a, it's a, that's it's, it's that's a, a slippery compl- That's a very complicated and yeah, it's a very slippery slope uh because who do they target next? Yeah, all of a sudden, you know, uh, you know, I could be watching Netflix and all of a sudden I get something that pops up. I, I, I'm a little worried about it. But the hacktivist group also tweeted that it had download links claiming that it had stolen Russian space agency information also. So I, is that really – I keep on having these conversations with people too. You know, Russia's technology, some of it is state-of-the-art. And a lot of their stuff is pretty dated. They haven't really – been keep, keeping yeah, we up talked with the, a little bit about this last night, whether or not it, it's useful to have all this antiquated technology in things like guidance systems and missiles and, and, and uh, you know, tracking systems, yep. tracking systems. But the fact is, is that that stuff still works. It's consistent. It's simple. It's, it's more simple. It doesn't, it may not do what our cell phones do, Yeah, but it also doesn't have the same problems. Speaking so, of cell phones, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Let's, let's move to story it, number two. Are you ready for this one? <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Yeah, Samsung yeah. has confirmed that elements of the Galaxy source code were stolen by hackers, but says no customer data has been compromised. They always say that. That's like yeah, a very that's everybody's that's a, statement. That's the first thing. If if yeah. I if I get breached, the very first thing I'm saying, whether it's true or not, is no, no data was data compromised. Was, no, yeah, no customer data was compromised. In a statement to Bloomberg, the Korean electronics giant admitted a cybersecurity breach, which led to a hacking group posting a 190 gigabyte torrent file to a Telegram channel just prior to the weekend. The hacking group dubbed Lapsus, which claimed responsibility for the attack, said the massive file contained bootloader source code for recent devices as well as biometric security information, which I'm not sure how that doesn't compromise Security information. That how that doesn't. Have yeah. So to so, do so bootloader source problems. Code. So so to keep this ungeeky, the boot source yeah, loader what, code. That that is essentially how you turn on your phone. When you turn it on and there's power on it, mm-hmm. it has to load into something. Right. So the bootloader is the very first that's thing the it boot does. Disk for your phone. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about floppy disks a little I know, later today. I saw, I saw what you brought in. Oh, and I I suddenly had a a flashback. A, a flashback. Okay. Yep. Uh, so naturally, that has uh, some security conscious. Uh, Galaxy owners in a tizzy. Uh huh. Uh, however, you know, Samsung says its initial analysis shows the data theft will not affect customers, even oh, okay. though they have my biometric data. <laughs> uh, my, it also my, claimed my it has, and, and your fingerprint, but that's, that's not really, right. that's not really that important. It also no no. 
It also claimed to have bolstered security, prevent a repeat of the incident. The company did not confirm the identity of the hackers, who also claimed to have performed a similar hack on NVIDIA recently. Which is a video guard company. So yeah. they got they got hacked. So this this company, there, there's a new Again, hacktivist group out there that's compromising data. So we here we got. So, so we're happy. Interesting. That, interestingly happy enough, we have one group that's that's going full bore by uh, attacking Russia's infrastructure. Yeah. And then we got these other groups that are like, huh, let's let's mess with Samsung and Nvidia, <laughs> <laughs> so, so so we can get that. Well, most of the time they mess with them for one reason and one reason only, and that is called money. It's always about money. It's it's always about money. yeah. All, all those great movies you ever watched. And then it's like this big type of deal. It always comes down what, to like some yeah, like, what, what, like crime deal and what you're trying real, to get money. What real point would you have for hacking into somebody else's stuff unless there wasn't some gain there? Yeah, it's monetary. All right, speaking, story number three, speaking about monetary gain, the Ukrainian government is to sell NFTs to fund the war against Russia. So non-fungible tokens. We talked about them uh, two or three weeks back, so you can always go back to TechTimeRadio.com and listen yeah, we to have, it. Yeah, we have our own NFTs. We, we do have our own NFTs. So you go to TechTimeRadio.com and actually click to buy something. You can buy an NFT. But essentially, an NFT is like a picture, a JPEG, an animated GIF. can be a PDF file that essentially is encrypted with a ID that allows only one user and one user only to have that identity item. Now, essentially, the Ukraine government says that it is going to be issuing non-fungible tokens to fund its military as they defend the country against the Russian invasion. The announcement from Deputy Prime Minister Mako Fedorov comes in the same week that the country raised more than $200 million from the sales of war bonds. In a tweet, Mr. Fedorov said that NFTs will be launched soon. NFTs are a one-of-kind asset in the digital world that can be brought and sold like any other piece of property. Essentially, this is— Now, is this something that's really going to help out or— so because, I think this is kind of a talked, way to donate we, it. To yeah, we. I mean, we've talked about the NFT thing quite a few times on the show, we, even right before it even went big. Yeah, the way before. Right? Yeah, the months before it even was and mainstream. You think it's? You think it's a? This is a way for you to donate money in a quick and easy way through cryptocurrency without having to go to a bank and transfer your money. I'll buy an NFT of some. A uh, Ukrainian flag with a, a dot in it, or two dots in it, or three dots in it—some special little thing that makes it unique—and then I can pay two hundred, five hundred, a thousand dollars for that to help them fund their deal, and then I own that as a part right. of the contribution. Right. That's uh, that's all that this really is. It's a it's a way to help fund Ukrainian through a simple way of transferring cryptocurrency. Okay, but you know what? Unlike Russia, they don't have to worry about being cut off from the bank, so they'll actually be able to cash the <laughs> the, the NFT money that's available there. All right, Mike, well, our time's up. We got through our top stories. If you want to learn more about this, please visit us online at techtimeradio.com and click on our episode section or the blog to get even more details on the stories and features. Now it's time to get ready for our whiskey tasting at the break. But up next, we have our producer, Gwen Way, joining the show in our Gadgets and Gear segment. You're not going to want to miss this product as it's launching on Kickstarter. Uh, you're listening to Tech Time Radio with Mike Odie and myself. Gwen will be joining us next. We'll see you after this commercial break. Hey, Mike, have you ever heard of Blue Chew? What are you going to ask me, Nathan? Blue Chew essentially is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form at a fraction of the cost. Tell me more about that. Did you know there are all kinds of reasons guys aren't able to perform age, medical condition, and stress? The chewable for BlueChew.com can help you be able to perform at your best. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com. Consult with one of the licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. Blue Chew's licensed medical providers work with you to find the right ingredients and strength for your prescription. Don't like swallowing pills? No problem. Blue Chew tablets are chewable. Tablets are made in the USA, good old America, and prepared and shipped direct, so it's cheaper than any pharmacy. And here's a special deal for our listeners. With the promo code TECHTIME to receive your first month free with the use of our promo code TECHTIME at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. That's bluechew.com. Promo code TECHTIME to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for being a sponsor. Hey, Mike. 
What? Have you heard of Elderberry? Only in reference to a Monty Python movie. But let me tell you, Elderberry Boost. Again, that's elderberry-boost.com. Elderberry Boost. Yes, Mike, that's Elderberry Boost. You can choose Organic Elderberry Boost, that eight ounce size. It's available on sale right now at eleven ninety nine. But you're listening here right now on Tech Time Radio, so you need to go to Elderberry. That's e l d e r b e r r y dash boost dot com and get some today. Elderberry Boost. Elderberry is an all natural organic immune system booster and antiviral. Elderberry is known to actively fight against viruses, including colds and the flu. It also works as a natural remedy for allergies, cancer, digestion, heart disease, high cholesterol, headache, toothache, weight loss, and reduced inflammation. It's a natural and healthy diuretic and has many antiviral properties. While it is famous for fighting the flu, it is effective for any illness. Elderberry Boost was created to provide a quality organic elderberry to their customers after searching years ago for a perfect elderberry syrup. None could be found, so they essentially created their own homemade recipe. If you would like to get 15% off your first order of Elderberry Boost, just put in the discount code TECHTIME at checkout. Again, that's elderberry-boost.com. Elderberry Boost. All right. Welcome back to Tech Time with Nathan Mum. Tech Time Radio is a weekly hour technology show that talks about current technology in a simple format without happening to geek out. Brought to you by Nathan Mum and Mike Day. We just had our first whiskey tasting, and we are tasting the PB&W peanut butter whiskey uh, during the break. And now let me tell you a little bit about it. It is 70 proof, $29.00. In 99 cents for that a seven. It not a whiskey. That's right. So let's talk about that, right? So what what does your proof have to be to be an actual official whiskey? 80 proof. It has to be, that is correct. It has to be 80 proof, 40% ABV, and has to be stored in new oak containers, except for corn whiskey would be the criteria. So this is kind well, of. Well, you're, 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 I think you're mixing up bourbon too with the whiskey. Uh, what, what, what makes the difference of 80 proof? So 80 proof needs to be the minimum of a true whiskey. Right. Uh, and it needs to be stored in oak containers except for being a corn whiskey. If it's a corn whiskey, then they don't have to do that. But otherwise, that's what you need to be doing. It needs to be stored in oak containers to be listed as a whiskey. So. Um, that's, uh, that's okay. Uh, so it's only 70 proof. It's only 70 proof. This it's, is from, very tasty. This is a blend of premium whiskey with three different peanut flavors to ensure a whiskey favor taste with the creamiest of peanut butter. It's unlike any blend of any other whiskey for uh, peanut flavoring. It is produced by the whiskey company Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, they debuted in 2014 as a goal to becoming the largest whiskey bar in the state of Colorado. And in just a short year after, they became a bottler Osco for reselling whiskey. So they mm-hmm. actually bottle whiskeys to resell as a part of their distribution plant. Um, what do you think of this? Mm. So we it's had good. we had screwball good, whiskey. Screwball whiskey was our whiskey not, of the year last year. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not necessarily. I mean, like, I actually think I may we, like this we, better uh, than we, screwball. Yeah. Well, we talk. We talk about this. This is a flavored whiskey, which is not bourbon. And it's not a whiskey, it's correct? Not a whiskey, so, so, so the big a, whiskey consumers so, so, yeah, are so like, this "Oh, is, this yeah, is fake. This yeah, is yeah, like us." So, but as a as a something that tastes really good, yeah, I'm 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 on the fence about whether or not could it you, tastes could better. You see, than having an bowl. ice cream bowl and putting a little bit of this whiskey on that. Top of that ice cream. No, where are you coming up? You're hungry. Oh, man. Are you I, hungry? I, I you were talking hungry. about like having a biscuit and jelly on the side. <laughs> well, I was just saying because the peanut butter is so good. You can just have a little one of those jelly donuts on the side. And you can have like what, a little peanut butter where and did, jelly. jelly donut. Where did that come from? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. It came from like, my you know, <laughs> All right. Okay. You're hungry. I am hungry. All right. <laughs> well, now we're going to get on to our segment that highlights new products, gadgets, or devices that we found on Kickstarter or other startup um Funding programs. We receive no compensation. We have no affiliate or referral fees on anything that we look at when we do our gadgets. And we gear. just think they're cool. Yes, we just think they're cool. So we're just talking about it that we think is something that is going to be uh, kind of state of the art. This allows us to find interesting products that our producer, Gwen Way, presents to us once a month <laughs> for great items. And then Nathan buys them. And then I end up buying them, and she ends up buying them, and then we all and end up buying them and because then you they're really never cool. never get them because. <laughs> 
No, I actually am getting my dolphin flipper thing that I ordered three and a half years ago. They said they are actually now shipping it after all these delays. Oh, okay. What so about I, what about the little scooter? No, it's and still the, still and waiting. The little pet thing. Remember the little? Yeah, it's still waiting. Still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. the, everything is COVID related, so it's sure delayed it for is. two or three years. All right. Yeah, sure. Well, as we get Gwen ready to come on the show, let's start our next segment. What's new in our gadgets and gear? All right, we got. Gwen on the line. Gwen, welcome to the show. We're excited to have you on again. Tell us a little bit about yourself because there may be some new listeners with our expanded audience. Tell a little bit about yourself, what you kind of enjoy doing, and and a little bit so we get to know you before we talk about this great gadget. Oh, of course. Uh, hi, everybody who doesn't know me and everybody who does, for that matter. Uh, my name is Gwen Way. I have been working in technology for... 22 years at this point. Dear Lord. That's a long time. That just hurts, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know because uh, I'm at 30 plus. So yeah. Right? It, and it hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. It's yeah. not supposed to hurt. Oh, it does. I, mean, we think I, about I it. do have to say, though, that that whiskey would make an excellent milkshake. Oh, it would. Absolutely. Let me just tell you, we're going to have to send Man, you, you guys. You guys are all over the food stuff. Yeah, we are. That's, you, uh, you know what? I guess I guess you must have had a great big lunch. So that you, No. You know, okay. No, no but I, I'm not sitting here going, mm, I'd really uh, like to have a biscuit right now. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Now, um, before we get into this great product, I actually grabbed the demo video of their product itself. So we're going to play this. So we can listen a little bit about the product. And then, Gwen, I'm going to turn it right after that over to you. You can start explaining what this product is and, and how great it is, because I think I, I may have sponsored it also myself this morning. <laughs> yeah, so you, let, do. you know you did. I did. Here we go. Let's start it now. What does it mean to feel connected? From handwritten letters and phone calls to video games and FaceTime, we've realized the best way to stay in touch is having truly meaningful interactions. Yet most of our communication is mediated by screens. Our eyes and ears are engaged, but a vital part of us stays disconnected. Our sense of touch. Feel what we believe to be the next paradigm shift in human interaction. We've created the first product that allows you to feel virtual content and human connections with your bare hands. Emerge Home takes you beyond the screen. With the magic of VR and the power of ultrasound, Emerge Home brings touch and emotion to virtual experiences. Be one of the first people to experience bare hand touch in the virtual world. All right, so this is all about touch. Yeah, yeah. Right? It all right. All Gwen, 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 explain this to us. All right. Well, anybody who's actually watched somebody playing a VR game, especially Beat Sabers, I know all of you know what that is. Uh, You've got somebody with the headset on, but they also have hand things, and you have to hold them and move them, and it kind of takes you out of the moment. Kind of like the joystick, uh, right? It's the joystick part exactly. of it, right? Okay. Exactly. What this does is actually take that joystick out of your hand and makes it into a flat board, and you just move your hands above it. So if you're in a game where you need to open a door, you can reach out, you can grab the doorknob, and you twist it just like you would normally. So this uses does it, ultra- does it have feedback gloves or something? No, no, like no. That? So there's no glove. No. It's called the Emerge Wave. It uses ultrasonic waves around a virtual object field that is three feet above and 120 degrees around it. So essentially, this is a flat platform that you put in. You put your hands in this little sphere space, and it's using ultrasonic waves to be resistance to move and to actually allow you to control your your device through that itself. So. Maybe I'm a little behind here, but are we saying that you're going to actually feel what you're doing while you're doing it in the game, or this is just something that uses these types of this type of technology so that you can interact with the game in a more natural way? Well, let's ask Gwen. What, Gwen, what is it? It is a more natural way to interact with a game. Okay, so there's no actual feeling involved. It's like if I reach out in the VR world to touch this VR doorknob i'm not going to actually feel the doorknob in my fingertips uh, you're not no, no you're not going to feel it in your fingertips. so how does it have anything to do with touch well well because what you're doing is the idea of the pressure of someone like touching your hand or something like that if you would do it it, it allows you to have this ability in this control device that's above you so it's 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 okay. get you take away your your you have these plastic things on your hands right so you throw those away so just put those down 
Now you have this playing field that you have right in now, front of now you. Now you have a platform that you're standing on. Correct. Sort of like a dance dance well, revolution. Well, no, you're not standing on it. You're sitting oh. down. You're sitting down. So where, where, whatever you're doing. It's okay. not, it's, so it's hands. not a dance dance revolution mat. Right? No, it's not. No. <laughs> it would like sit on a desk or a okay, or, or end it, table. But it uses the ultrasonic waves to track the motions of my hands. That's correct. Correct. Right. Okay. So so then it in the VR simulation... I reach out and I grab the doorknob as if I were using my actual hands. Yes. But I don't actually feel the doorknob in my hands. That's correct. Is it kind of like the Xbox Connect? So, Similar. so it's kind of like okay. that's oh, so there. See, Odie's see, all Odie's over this. Odie's just jumping all in. <laughs> She's all like, all right. So, like, I got this. That's right. She's like, I don't need these guys on Get here. Get out of here, Mike. So, uh, is it? Uh, yeah, it, I think it is a little bit. Gwen, you want to explain? Because the Microsoft Connect, people may be familiar with that. It doesn't quite use the same camera stuff, but explain the difference. It's it's less about the cameras and more about the field. Uh, there's a musical instrument, and of course. My brain has has completely lost it at this point, but there's a musical instrument that you play just by moving your hands Mm -hmm. up and down and side to side. It's the same general principle. You move your hands and things happen in the game. If you need to move your cursor, you can take your finger from one side of the screen down to the other and it moves with you. Um, Going back to Beat Savers, all you have to do is move your hands to do all of the movements rather than holding on to the controls and dealing with buttons and things like that. Right. So with the it, connect is it's, it's a, it's a video. It's all the camera. camera that's, yes. That's, that's looking for specific points on a, on your body. And then it's tracking those. And the problem exactly. I have with connect is I move too fast or. It, yeah. The camera never worked for me in the connect either. Right. So I like the connect. There I was like the star Wars. Connect. There was a star Wars oh, game yeah. that was really fun in there. And I played I, that. I, for used a bit. To, I used to have a fighting game and I was too fast for the fighting game. Yeah, because the camera had to pick you up, and then it had to create a scale of you. This actually with it with an ultrasonic field, is it ultrasonic? Right? Yes, it's an ultrasonic field. There's a constant. There's a constant detection going on. There's constant feedback that you're moving around, so it moves quicker. Right. What is what this is about? Right. All right. So tell us the name of this great product, Gwen. The cost, how it's being funded. Tell us all uh, more information. I'm oh, I, I'm so excited about this, and I did fund it this morning. I know you did. It, I did. It is kind of amazing. Uh, so this is the Emerge Home. That's E M E R G E. Exactly, and you can search for it. It pops up right away on Kickstarter if you just type in Emerge Home. Uh, it comes with not only the uh, the actual bar that does the ultrasound, but you can also get other pieces to go on to a quest two. Uh, now there is one thing, this does not include the quest two headset. So you'd need to purchase that separately. Uh, right now you are still able to be part of the September delivery uh, for a total amount of $450. You'll see as you get later and later deliveries, the cost goes up and up. So if you're interested in it, you might want to jump on it now. You do have until April 8th, however, to go ahead and buy in. Okay, there so you have until April 8th. And, and now this is not se- September this year, right? Uh, uh, September and some unidentified I know it says, year. I thought it was September this September year. September 2022. But, you know, with COVID, it could be delayed for four years. Because it, it, it's, it's a Kickstarter project. Yeah, it's always so, really it, it, possible. It, it is. Now, this is not a cheap product. This is for the total immersion aspect of VR. So oh, I yeah, have a you quest have to buy, too. You have to, I have a quest too yeah, from I just, Facebook. <laughs> I just I yep. just got a notification that Oculus is no longer being supported. So you might as well get rid of your Oculus stuff. Well, your phone. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got that Facebook email that came out or something like that. I don't know. I just but, I just I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna probably have to get a new headset because I have like the only 64 meg one too. So I had like the very. Oh yeah, cheap. you'll definitely want one better than. So that. I'm gonna want to get a, a deal, but I, I like this fishing game. I got this. There's this. There's this fishing game, and I hate fishing. I have fished what? for I oh I the worst thing in the world is fishing. I hate fishing. I have fished all my life. I've never caught a fish. 
I'm at this new place, well, and I, I go out with these guys. Then you're doing it wrong. No, I I, I can literally, I have fished you're for 20 supposed, hours this year fishing, with a license, and I still caught nothing. Fishing is not about catching. What is it about? Fishing is about fishing. No, that's horrible. The worst I, day I, fishing is better than the best day working. No, fishing's the, fishing's the worst thing. I'd rather go crabbing. At least I get something there. But, oh, man. But there's this game in here, which I love. Because I, because you I can play. always catch. Oh them. yeah, I'm catching fish left yeah. and right. That's coming left You're doing and right. It wrong. So now I wouldn't have to have this, <laughs> this uh, controller that's kind of clunky for me to reel it in. I could just put my hands over there and I could feel like I'm what? Like, like I'm a fisherman if you, if out in the boat. If you're actually using a, if you're using a fishing game, wouldn't you want to have something in your hand that makes clicky sounds and? No, no, oh, no. Okay. I'd much rather have it. Yeah, okay, okay. all right. <laughs> okay, again, Gwen. One more time. Where can we find this great product? You can find it on Kickstarter by searching Emerge Home. Emerge Home. I, I did want to do one more quick thing, if I sure, may. Sure, yeah. Uh, Are you going to talk about a product that I think we talked about uh, previously? I am. We actually have a product, uh, and this is directly to address you, Mike, and the fact that people <laughs> never get anything. Uh, <laughs> the very first project that we had on G- Gadgets and Gears uh, was the Storm 2 Power Bank. I remember uh, that. Yeah. I, I have gotten mine. A friend of mine who's an EMT has his and uses it every time he has a uh, shift. And now it is available on Amazon. Nice. For $250. Is that the, is that the little thing you hook up under your car when no, you're traveling? No, this is the power bank. Oh, so the power oh, bank. Right. Oh, this is right. the, like, one of our first things we did. Yeah, the okay. Power bank. Yeah, I remember. She did to travel. Yeah. I so got you got it on Kickstarter. How much did you pay on Kickstarter for it, Gwen? I think I paid 150 if I remember. And now correctly. they're selling it for 200 bucks on Amazon. Now it's 250. That's why you got to jump in at Kickstarter and be a part of the backing of these great technology events because you get it at a cheaper price and you help those creators. How many of successful. the stuff that you've backed have you gotten? I've gotten all except for that 3D printer. No, no, no. I, I, oh, no, no, no. Totally I, I, not. So, okay. I saw, yeah. I, no, I have only one of the Kickstarter campaigns I did, the guys kind of ditched out. They and never disappeared. Did they disappeared. Yep. And right. and then they were called 3dfort.com and so I got so mad at them I purchased 3dfort.com as a as a, as a domain website. name and so I now have a, a bad page if you go to 3dfort.com yeah, I, I well I them. I know of a bunch of things that you you've supported they're still they're still waiting they're still waiting still waiting for yes it yeah. just takes a long time all right Gwen well thank you very much we always enjoy having you a part of our gadgets and gear if you want to listen back to this. And find out more information. You can always visit them again at kickstarter.com forward slash Emerge Home, E-M-E-R-G-E-H-O-M-E. And you can always get our old episodes. You can see Gwen talking about her other gadgets and gear. And we look forward to seeing you next month. Gwen, have a great day. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you. Bye, All right. Gwen. All right. That ends our segment, Gadgets and Gear. When we return, we have This Week in Technology. See you after the break. Hello, my name is Arthur, and my life's work is connecting people with coffee. Story Coffee is a small batch specialty coffee company that uses technology to connect people to each product resource, which allows farmers to unlock their economic freedom. Try our medium roast founder series coffee, which is an exotic bourbon variety that is smooth, fresh, and elegant at storycoffee.com. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Today, you can get your first bag free when you subscribe at storycoffee.com with code TECHTIME. That's S-T-O-R-I coffee.com. Hey, Mike. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, do you ever feel tired, have a headache, or maybe a little bit under dehydrated? Yeah, I get told that I need to hydrate more often. Guess what, Mike? I have a solution for you. What And what is it? Hydronique Hydration. The electrolyte power drink packets are available for you now. Started in the midst of the pandemic, the founder of Hydronique Hydration, a frontline healthcare worker, started developing constant headaches. Do you know that most powdered drinks on the market have tons of sugar and caffeine, especially those rock star and Gatorade substitutes? Yeah, like you drink. So I'm going to need to change. So what did the founder do? Well, that's why he created Hydronique Hydration, sugar-free, keto-friendly, plant-based, antioxidant-rich electrolyte powdered packets for daily use containing all the essential vitamins and minerals with a refreshing taste their product contains elderberry elderberry which has immune boosting properties for supporting during cold and flu season hydronique hydration electrolyte powder packets can also fit in your bag or suitcase when traveling your busy days in 2022 can change do you want a sugar-free keto-friendly vitamin drink to give you hydration boosts if so Give Hydronique Hydration a try. You can visit the website at www.hydroniquehydration. It's www. 
H Y D R O N I Q U E hydration.com. That's the word hydration and unique mashed together. Or you can search for Hydronique Hydration on Amazon.com or on their own website at hydroniquehydration.com. And now, let's look back at this week in technology. All right, we're going back to March 8th, 1983. IBM introduces the IBM Personal Computer XT, which stands for Extended Technology for the cheap price of 4,995 bucks. The cheap price. Yeah, for a cheap price of $4,995, it features an Intel 8008 <laughs> processor, a 10 meg hard drive, eight expansion slots, serial ports, 128 KB RAM, 40 KB ROM, a keyboard, and one double-sided 360 KB floppy drive. Wow. Just re- that is so weird when we talk about that these days, right? So you know what? I what went, do I got an, an i nine processor <laughs> with a sixty four? Yeah, but our, our phones make these things look like just nothing. So if you can look at the live stream, and I'm sure that you can't, I am holding in my hand a three hundred and sixty k floppy drive, not a one point four, but a three hundred and sixty k floppy drive. This is from, the, of course. The, the most important, you can tell what age I was back in the day. This was the CT... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that wasn't when you were young. This is IBM Tandy compatible with 250, uh, 256K CGA or an Apple IIEC Plus with 64K. It's the Sesame Street print kit. Now, back in the days, remember you used to have those long printing uh, spools of thread that oh. you'd have to cut out? And so that oh, yeah. They're, they essentially were self-feeding continuously, and you had the little deals on the side. They didn't have high-end graphics, so you would have to purchase an application program. Mm. You would then choose on screen what to print out, and you can make big banners on the computer paper Ooh. that was available to have here. And dot matrix. Uh, I know. And it, you have the, the yep. little thing going back and forth. So I have two. So we can talk about it a little bit after the commercial break. I have two things here. Both of them are IBM PC XT80. PS2 compatible that require just CGA or EGA to yeah, load I still have these some, things. I, I still have some old uh, five and three inch. Five and a quarter? D- diskettes. Five and a quarter. Of the, yeah, five uh, and a quarter and okay. a three and a, was it? Three and a half. Three and a half. Yep. All right. Okay. Well, that's this week in technology. Have you ever wanted to watch some technology history with over two years of videos? You can visit techtimeradio.com to watch our older shows or sign up for our newsletter and subscribe to the best technology information or be part of our private Tech Timers Facebook group to talk with us live all the time. We're going to take a commercial break. When we return, we'll have our fan favorite letters up next. See you after the break. Hey, Mike, did you know that Unidragon puzzles are a great relaxation? Yes, I did. The 21st century widespread digitalization pushes people to have gadget-free rest. In this case, puzzles become a convenient and actual way of having rest. Yeah, they're a great way to relax. They give your brain a reboot. Is Make sure that you visit Unidragon.com with the discount code for 10% off with the code TIME10. That's T-I-M-E, the number 10, for all of our Tech Time fans across the nation. Do you know that puzzles are relatively simple tools that solve a complex range of problems? In game form, we learn useful, analytical, and communicative skills that will find the application in work, study, and other spheres of life. Yeah, they are great forms of relaxation and revitalization. Do you know that Unidragon's collections now have dinosaurs? Oh, that's my that's that's one of my favorite things. You got to make sure you keep the promo code. It's Time Ten because all of our audience across the nation can use Time Ten to receive a ten percent discount at Unidragon. That's Unidragon.com. Don't be fooled by other imitation puzzle makers. Visit Unidragon.com, the only spot for your true thinking. Puzzles. All right, welcome to our one of our favorite segments. Of course, this is letters where we go through and we read emails that were sent to Mr. Mum that include 
phishing scam and outright mistruths. We right. read them out and, loud and, and we, we kind of help people understand what they should do and, and not do. Right. And we want to make sure that we let everybody know that Nathan clicks on links and stuff and you should not. That's correct. He's doing it for a purpose that is. I have to reformat machines to do this. So I literally have to reformat yeah. machines after a while because they get because infected. Because you get too much. Cr- yeah, they, they get infected with the viruses. So you don't yeah. do this at home. We're doing it so that you don't have to do it at home. All right, I'm going to start out with the very first one. This is, sounds great. It's from support at cleanmoney2.com. Clean money. Clean money, too. Are you looking for large fund transfers or to enlarge and establish your business? Are you looking to levy and attain different... Uh, starting points from $1 million to $50 billion in loans? Well, if you are, we can help you out. You don't have to have any financial real estate, project funding, bridge loans, or anything. We can get you money with no credit ID required. Really? Yes. Ooh. That sounds. You don't have to sell your crypto to get cash. All you have to do is borrow it from our assets, and we'll let you loan as much as you can, and we'll send it to you in either Bitcoin or Ethereum. Really? All you have to do is contact us and send us a small portion to cover the transfer fees. Oh, that's kind of like one of those, hey, we're going to give you free stuff as long as you pay the shipping and handling. That's, that's right. It's like Publisher's Clearinghouse yeah. or whatever it is. I don't, or, I don't know. What it was. Some of those, hey, we'll give you four free magazine subscriptions, but you're going to have to pay $69 paid, yeah, to just, ship it to them. That's right. So so this is, uh, again, at support at cleanmoney2.com. So I looked up support uh, at cleanmoney2.com. I actually tried to go to cleanmoney2.com and... Nothing popped up. Nothing so popped I don't up. think I'm going to really reach back out to him. My consultant, though, is Frank Davis. And if I wanted to get a hold of him, I, I wouldn't want to get a hold of him at cleanmoney2.com. So I could just send him an email at firmloan442 at gmail.com oh, look to there. engage him so that he could then help me out. That's awesome. So two things here. You a, go. you can't get money for free. Uh, well, that's that's what this one's based on. This one's based on the, the too good to be true uh, fallacy. And right? it, so this is something that people that, you know, may need some money. They're yeah. Like, and they're, maybe they just got turned down for a car loan or something. Yeah. Are gonna, like, oh. I'm going to do this. Yeah. But the second thing is you should never be getting an email from one email address and sending email to a person at a number, number, number at gmail.com. Please don't go. do that. All, All right. right. You're okay. up next. All right. Here, here's, here's your one. It says from Facebook. Oh, yes. And it's security at facebookmail.com. Uh-oh. So that's security at facebookmail.com. Yes, not right. not a valid email address. Sub Well, we'll talk about that. Okay. In a so the subject line is someone tried to log into your account, user ID. Oh no. Right? Okay. Hi Nathan Mom. Someone logged into your Facebook account on Ju- to, uh Tuesday, eighth March twenty twenty two at ten thirty one point one six using Google Pixel four A. Oh, no, a Pixel 4a phone. Okay. We just wanted to make sure it was you. Now, I, I probably need to make some commentary on the fact that they aren't using really good proper grammar here because some letters are capitalized that shouldn't be capitalized and some are not. Like we, like we, we just wanted to make sure it was you. Should the we should be capitalized and it's not. It's not. Okay. So there's some gra- grammatical errors. But if now- you don't think it was you, period. Please report this so we can keep your account safe. Uh-oh. And then it's got a button, report this user, uh-huh. or yes, comma, me. Thanks to the Facebook team. So break this down. The first thing is the email address. Why would I suspect facebookmail.com? Yeah, it says you, so Facebook has their own email address at facebook.com. They're That's pretty. Right. They're a pretty established company. So All right. I, now, but then it comes up with two options, right? So All if right. I click on those options, look at the next page there. I click on the option. Oh, check it's, this out. I got yeah, so I gave you a bunch of details here, awesome. right? So if I click on the first option that says it was not me, where is the email that it sends this reply to? Uh, Recognize.suspiciousactivity at gmail.com. At gmail.com. So you're telling me Facebook is using gmail.com. So Facebook well, is using yeah, a Google doesn't platform. Everybody? A, a, a Google <laughs> platform to keep this. Now, if I clicked on that and I said no, essentially what it does is it creates a list. It puts me in a list of information so it knows that I did respond to this. This is an active email, right? Correct. Is, it says, is, are, am I actively looking at these emails and reading? Because this, this, this doesn't ask you for any... Login information. No, it just means that I that they're going to know that I'm actively using this, and so that they can continue to send me spam. Now, what happens if I click on the other buttons? There's two buttons. No, Both it's of a, it's the exact same email address. It sends it to. So if I said that yes, it was me, 
It's sending it to the same exact email that if I said it was, no, it wasn't me. So clearly, it probably doesn't have the logic of knowing yes or no. It just wants to know if I'm It I just wants to know active. if you have an active email address. Yep, that's correct. All right, my next one. Congratulations, Nathan Mum. This, hey, this is- It says congrat. Oh, sorry. Congrat. Exclamation it point. Congrats. It says congrat. Congrat, Nathan Mum. Cole at 1851920404. So this is supposed to be coming from Cole's. The mm-hmm. subject is yes, 7945667. I look at the next page here, and I got a beautiful, I received a $1,000 reward from Kohl's. Oh, look at there. Which egg has your hidden reward? And if I click on all these eggs, it's the same exact reward. So it doesn't make any difference. <laughs> but they have essentially decided to give me $1,000 in coal bucks. Okay. Now, they don't, they don't even have What's the coal, coal book. Uh, coal bucks is what they call them. And they're not even the real coal bucks that you actually have. It's, a, it's its own login system. Essentially, what they're wanting me to do is click on this. To put in my uh, email and information so they can continuously send me coal information. And one of the times hoping to trick me up saying that I just purchased something on Coles and I need to have a receipt to return it to have it sent back. All right. Next one. You're up the next. All right. UP, USPS. This is from the United States Postal Service. Yeah. This is our last. This is our last one. We'll yeah. have to go through. Okay. But the email address is M8MAQA at ILVME something blah, blah, blah. I mean, the United dot S- CO dot UK. So it's from the UK. So it's, so it's the USPS in UK. So the United States Postal United States Service. United States Postal Service in in. It's England. using a UK e- email address. Yeah. Okay, well, that makes a lot of sense. There you go. The subject is client ID, confirm your USPS gift. So they're sending me, so the post office is sending me a gift. Yeah, we have a surprise for oh, okay. USPS users. Start your new year with our best rewards. Okay. And then there's some graphics here. Then... So it's really interesting here. Look at the bottom. So there's two ways I can decide to subscribe out of this. Well, yeah, if you no longer wish to receive these e- emails, you may unsubscribe by clicking here, which doesn't have a link. Correct. Or by writing to 801 US Highway 1 North Palm Beach, Florida. Okay, so let's say, so let's just say, okay, you know what? I said, you know what? Maybe the Postal Service exists in there. I actually decided to go and take a look at a Google map and see what was actually there. And guess what we have? Take a look at that second page there, Mike. Hey, for lease. It's a building that's vacant. It's a vacant building. And it says for lease. So there's no postal service there, but I can send an email or I can write a letter to them directly. Now, the second one is click here to remove yourself from an e- email's list, which should be list serve, but it says list sore. Yeah. Write to 2828 Scenic Way, Rossville, Illinois, which is looks like a hotel. It is. That is correct. So, So both of those locations are not the valid locations. Uh, clearly the United States Postal Service should not be using a UK email address and there is no special gift that the Postal Service has so, decided yeah. to give me. So if you've only, if you're joining us for the very first time, the point that we're trying to make here is pay attention to some specific items. That's correct. The details. One, one yes, the details. And that's really the, where are they sending it from? The email address they're sending it from, uh, what they're asking you to do. And then don't click, don't click on any of these links. That makes sense. Uh, they almost all of these are trying to take advantage of your your natural human responses to click on these things. All right, so let's move right now into Mike's mesmerizing moment. This is Mike's mesmerizing moment, presented by Story Coffee. Visit StoryCoffee.com. I felt a little bit of a. A little, a little uh, Odie time was, warp there. Uh, Odie was like, what? Okay, <laughs> well, all right, here we go. All right. I think you surprised her. I did. Okay. So, 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 so explain that a little bit more. We were talking about that. Uh, so I wanted to continue so, that. Okay. So we've talked many, many times about hacking. And yep. the hackers get in almost exclusively via one way, right? Human error. Human error. That means that somebody has done something in order to allow these folks to get into your system. So they've clicked on a link or they've left some information open or they've actively put in information that compromises their system. And they do this by activating your survival responses. This One of the interactions between in technology and, and human behavior is that humans, humans want things in very simple format. So when you come at them with complex information, it creates problems. It okay. creates it creates situations where we don't know what to do, and so we start reverting to very simplistic behavior, like when it says, "Hey, your Facebook has been hacked." 
Yep. That incites, oh, crap. I gotta, right? I gotta that, there's a fear response. It. There's a mm-hmm. reaction. Click here to solve this problem. Oh, problem solution. Let me click here. So click here. As soon as I click there, I've done that. I've done that. All right. Okay. So this is the this is really the issue here is that these things are interacting with human behavior. Okay. All right. So now we're going to move to our pick of the day, our whiskey uh, deal. Do you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? This is for our peanut butter whiskey, the PB and W. Thumbs uh, down. You give it a thumbs what? down. Too sweet. Oh, Odie did not like it. Oh, too All sweet. Right. Okay. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I mean, as far as like I said, as far as a flavored alcoholic beverage. It's, it's very good tasting. I, I give it an absolute thumbs up. I, I don't know that this is better than Screwball. Oh, I think it is. We might have to have a drink off. And we should do that later tonight. Possibly. All right, here we go. From all of us here, I just want to make sure everybody knows, make sure you visit us at techtimeradio.com. You can also be a caller. Do you want to be a caller? All you got to do is click on that top right-hand corner, be a caller, and you can record your question for us. And then Mike Gorday and click Nathan on the Mung, link. Well. Well, click on a link on our site, <laughs> and it'll save it, and then send it to us. Ask any technology question. We'll put you on the air. Heck, you know, we may even call you and put you on StreamYard so you can be uh, here with a beautiful face and smile. You know, also sign up at our site to win some cool prizes. We give away our story coffee. The most important part to remember as we leave is the science of tomorrow starts with the technology of, the, of today. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. See you next week. Thanks for joining us on Tech Time Radio. We hope that you had a chance to have that hmm moment today in technology. The fun doesn't stop there. We recommend that you go to techtimeradio.com and join our fan list for the most important aspect of staying connected and winning some really great monthly prizes. We also have a few other ways to stay connected, including subscribing to our podcast on any podcast service from Apple to Google and everything in between. We're also on YouTube, so check us out on youtube.com slash tech time radio all one word we hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did making it for you from all of us at tech time radio remember mum's the word have a safe and fantastic week